Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today, I'm making barbecue beef burn-ins for cheap, real cheap. Burn-ins are usually made from a point of a beef brisket, but briskets, depending on the grade and where you buy them, can run from $3.50 a pound to $5 or $6 a pound. So even if you get a small 10 pound brisket, you're gonna be spending between $35 and $60. But today, we're gonna make burn ends out of two three pound chuck roasts that I got for $1.49 a pound. I couldn't believe it when I saw that price. If they had more of them, like say a truckload of them, I would have bought every single one. But they only had these two. So for the meat portion of the burn ends, I've only spent $8.94. Before we get started with meat, let's get our grill ready for indirect cooking. I'm using my Grilla Grills Kong Kamado today but any grill you can set up for indirect cooking will work. Just use what you got. I have the Kong loaded up with Rockwood Lump Charcoal, then I'm gonna use my hose torch to light a small patch right in the center. Once you have a few coals lit, add your wood chunks. And today I'm just using four hickory chunks, but feel free to use whatever wood you like. Then add the heat deflector, the main grate, and the top grate. And right now, I know exactly what you, the people, are thinking. Those grates are dirty. And you're right, but I'm going to clean them before the meat goes on. I'm pretty anal about food safety. I'm not going to do anything that's detrimental to anybody's health. If you're like me, and you're OCD about food safety, smash that like button. And then let me know in the comments what's the most dangerous thing you see other people do when they're cooking or preparing food that would very easily make everybody sick. Now let the Kong come up to temperature. If you want to see more about how I control the temperatures on the Kong, here's a link right up in the top corner that'll walk you through it. Well, in my case, roll you through it. While a grill is coming up to temperature, let's get our meat ready. And here's our two beautiful three pound chuck roast that I stole for $1.49 a pound. For the seasoning today, I'm using Grilla Grills Beef Rub, which I've gone through several bottles already, and I love it. But first, moisten your meat with some Worcestershire sauce to help glue the rub down. You can also use mustard, cooking oil, water, peanut butter, or whatever you want. It's your meat. You can get it moist and rub it with whatever you like. But if you do happen to try the peanut butter, let me know how that turned out. Then give the roast a good coating of rub. Then flip the chuck roast over and repeat. You could do this a couple hours before or the night before smoking them. Once the chuck roasts were moistened and rubbed down, the Kong was preheated and settled in at 250 degrees. So I added the meat on the top rack. And don't ask me why I'm cooking them on the top rack, because I don't know why. They look good enough to eat already. Now close the lid and let the chuck roast smoke at 250 degrees for about four and a half to five hours, or until they have a really nice bark and they're starting to get tender. Come follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I cook and eat on a daily basis, but I don't film and other random things. Here's what our chuck roast look like after smoking at 250 degrees for four hours. And they're getting there. The color is almost where I want it, but they still have a little ways to go to get tender. So I'm gonna close the lid and let them go for another hour. And now here they are after smoking at 250 degrees for a total of five hours. And there's that color and the bark that I was looking for. 
So let's get them off the grill and get them cut up. Now we're gonna cut the chuck roast into pieces like this. And something obviously happened to the camera. Most likely operator error on my part because it didn't film me adding these to the pan or adding the sauce, etc. So what I did was add the chunks of chuck roast into the pan along with some barbecue sauce, which today I use Sweet Baby Ray's because I like it. But you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like because after all, you are the boss of your sauce. And then I also added a little bit of apple cider vinegar and more rub. Once everything's added to the pan, give it a good mix. And then add them back onto the grill. And then close the lid and let these smoke for another hour or so. And here's what they look like after 45 minutes. And they're almost right where I want them. But they still had a touch to go before they were fully tender. And this was a crucial point because I did not want them falling apart. I was trying to make burn ends, not pulled beef. So we closed the lid and let them go for another 30 to 45 minutes. After smoking at 250 degrees for 45 more minutes and a total cook time of six and a half hours, our burn ends are ready. The only thing left to do is get them plated up and eat. We served them up with a little bit of white bread and dill pickles. So we stabbed a burn in to give it a taste. And the meat was like butter, very moist, rich, and very tender. It had a great smoky flavor from the hickory wood and a nice balance of sweet and heat with a nice little tang from the apple cider vinegar. These turned out amazing. And I think they tasted even better because they were very cheap. But that's the store's loss in my game. The only real problem I had with these burn ends was I didn't make more. These did not last long at all. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year, or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.